Okay, so this is a very specific video. Uh, it's designed for my CIS 160 class and it covers uh, creating shared folders in VirtualBox. So our goal here is to share, uh, create a folder that essentially exists on our host machine, which is what you're seeing in front of you here, and uh, in our virtual machine as well. And, and this way we can just sort of share files uh, between the two easily. And, and I thought as part of this video I'll cover importing the actual um, appliances as well. So I've downloaded these from our website uh, and I'll go ahead and just double click. Uh, this is a 1.4 gigabyte file and I'll just go ahead and uh, import it with all the uh, configuration settings already done uh, so we've sort of made it easy on you and this is our version of uh, Windows XP that we'll import. Now while that's loading I'll go ahead and create a new folder on my hard drive on the host machine uh, and I'll call it 160 share and I'll just go ahead and press enter. So we've got a folder now on our hard drive and what we'll do is we'll link to it uh, somehow some way on our virtual machine. Now what we'll do is on our virtual machine we'll actually create a drive letter. We'll map a drive as they say and I'll show you how to do it through Windows and then I'll show you how to do it through the command line as well. Uh, so I'm, let me go ahead and close this down and start our virtual machine there it is, CIS 160, and we'll go ahead and start it up. Uh, give it just a second to load up. It should actually load um, pretty quick. You'll see the startup screen here. And then we'll log in uh, using the password. Password, um, which I know is ironic for a security class, but that's okay. So we'll go ahead and Click on the admin user, type in password, and there is uh, Windows XP. So at this point, uh, from within the virtual machine, okay, we'll go ahead and click on devices and then down to shared folders. And over on the right, we'll go ahead and click on the plus sign, click on the down arrow and select other. And this is a task that VirtualBox you know, expects that we will need. So you can see I'm actually, uh, it actually makes it pretty easy. I'm looking at the hard drive of my host machine. I'll select 160 share, the folder we just created. I want to make it permanent. I'll go ahead and click OK. Now, uh, that's the first step. Uh, we could go ahead and access this through the UNC name slash slash vb vbox svr slash uh, 160 share okay so that's one way we could access the share but that's not very convenient right so uh, what we'll do is we'll actually use um, the command line to do this okay just just to be you know just to add um, another tool to our toolbox. So the command is the net use command slash slash is uh, we're starting to use the UNC path vbox svr slash 160 share. Okay uh, and then we'll go ahead and add persistent colon yes and that means it'll be there the next time we log in. In a normal environment, in a virtual environment, uh, we're going to need to perform one additional step. Oh look at that, I forgot one thing in here. It's going to have to be uh, net use z colon, we want to give it a drive letter of course, so I forgot that. Apologize for that. Uh, net use z colon slash slash vbox svr slash 160 share persistent. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so at this point, I'll go ahead and press enter. The command has completed successfully. Type an exit and get out of there. So if I click on start and I go into my computer here, you should see the z drive. And now whatever we put here. Uh, let's just say testing, just a little text document, uh, should show up on our 
host computer as well. We'll go into the C drive of our host computer into the 160 share folder and there it is. We've got a testing file. Okay, so now we can drop files back and forth. Now, uh, one other thing I want you to do is we need to take a snapshot of our current configuration. Okay, and uh, we'll call this a shared folder and in the snapshot description we'll say Z drive mapped to uh, 160 share. Okay, really just saving the work we've done. We'll always be able to go back to this. Okay, and at this point I'll go ahead and close down in the upper right hand corner, restore current snapshot to shared folder. And that's great. Uh, and you can see in our list of virtual machines here, we've got over in the upper right hand corner, we've got the shared folder uh, snapshot as well. Okay, so there you have it. Um, creating shared folders and being able to share files between your host machine and your virtual machine.